Hi guys, this is Tatiana again with EuroHealth Clinic and today I would like to show you one of the most popular salad of Soviet Union period and of course period of Russia before Soviet Union and after Soviet Union. So the reason why I'm saying before Soviet Union because probably you guessed that the salad was um, originated very long time ago. And even though this salad was very popular in Russia, it was like must in every household, especially on a holiday. I could not imagine my life, my childhood, and my life now without this salad on the table. It's like the most traditional, most common salad that every household must have. And of course they have it now too. And now I have it here in the United States and my kids now also cannot imagine their holiday table without this salad. So the name of this salad is Salad Olivia. So it's Olivia Salad. And um, definitely by the name you probably guessed so this is not a Russian name and it named by, um, it's named by the cook by actually the cook who invented this salad. His name was Lucien Olivier, who used to live in Russia back in 1890s. So back in 1894, he opened the restaurant in the Moscow. He used to live in the Moscow, Russia, and he opened the restaurant that uh, he named Hermitage. And uh, he was the one who invented this salad and the salad became very very popular so in the history this salad was changing its name for several times you know there was a period in history when it called um, winter salad there was a period in history when it called meat salad or chicken salad but the um the fact it is that it's now and you know for as long as i remember this salad called salad olivier and like i said it must be on every holiday especially holiday i mean you can make it all the time but because you have to boil many ingredients and then you have to chop them this is the not the salad that you're gonna do every day on a daily basis right so and i'm gonna show you right now uh the all ingredients uh, what you have to do with that and also I'm gonna um, tell you what is original ingredient and what is not however this is the way how I'm making this salad and I'm really happy that at least something from Russian cuisine my uh, kids now it's Russian cuisine my kids uh, also love to see on uh, holiday tables okay let's uh, see what okay. the ingredients are so here we have all ingredients and key ingredient for this salad is uh, green peas. Uh, however, this ingredient was not the original back in 1894. So it was not even on the recipe. But as long as I know, as long as it became very popular back in, you know, last century, and I grew up with that and my, uh, my parents grew up with that salad, so this was the key ingredient so what i'm using for this salad i love this company and i like it because it has like sea salt and one of the most youngest green peas it's uh, i'm using that uh, the del monte that has uh, like i said sea salt and it's one of the um you know the softest and very most delicious one of course we have to spill out um the all you know the liquid from that so because it has to be dry now another ingredient is uh, like I said already before everything has to be boiled that's why this is the not a salad that you're gonna make every day right because it's a very time-consuming salad so I boiled potato and I peel the potato if you're gonna peel the potato and then boil it you know it's a very you know it's a big chance that you can overcook potato and then it's not going to be sliced very nicely in a you know in a nice you know little square pieces so that's why I um, boiled potato and then I peeled it. So the potato, we have here um, carrots. Also I boiled carrots and then I peeled it. So I have um, a hard boiled eggs here. And I have um, uh, pickles, fresh pickles. 
you also instead of fresh pickles if you don't have fresh pickles at home you can put uh, just the regular pickles like marinated pickles that's fine too because in a certain period of time when in Russia we did not have uh, fresh uh, pickles, fresh cucumbers during winter time, of course we used uh, marinated pickles. So, but now we have here in the United States everything, that's why I love to put fresh pickles and fresh cucumbers, it gives really nice um, smell, nice and you know, kind of like summery smell, so I really like that. And also, it's definitely up to you, if you want to, you can put any um, meat kind of stuff so of course I'm not gonna recommend you to put any sausages any kalbasas like many people do I think this is the it's not a, a, I don't know it's up to you guys but uh, so today I boiled like chicken nuggets like you know and I just boiled it in the salted water and uh, this is what I'm gonna chop but it's not necessary to put any meat there you can put actually you know like um, cooked beef also like uh, very um, you know very finely chopped but to me uh, to put beef in this salad salad becoming very heavy to digest so this is what I'm gonna use um, cucumbers um, cuc fresh cucumbers eggs uh, carrots uh, potatoes um, chicken breast or whatever try to get the um, you know the white meat of course a green piece and I love to use my um, greens not originally from Russia and uh, so in Azerbaijan wherever I grew up uh, we always had to have greens I mean it's it's healthy and the diet in uh, in, uh, in Azerbaijan when I grew up I still think this is one of the most healthiest diet ever so anyway I'm gonna use um, uh, green onions you can use regular white onions but try not to put any um, red onions because it just spoils salad on the next morning you're not gonna like it so I, I use green onions and um, I use um, a fresh um, dill uh, I use a little bit of cilantro not everybody likes to use cilantro and you don't have to use it so you actually don't have to use any greens either but this is the stuff what you know what I grew up and it really gives this nice and fresh and healthy taste and of course every table in my house have to have a mint fresh mint or basil but in this salad I'm using fresh mint so and um Basically, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna show you how um, I'm gonna start. Usually, I start with a um, potato. Never put. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind. Uh, you know what? In what order you're gonna put that in your? You know, in your um, uh, mixture pot. It doesn't matter. This is the mixture pot that I'm gonna use right now, and it doesn't matter which order you're gonna put your vegetables. But uh, your um, uh, green peas always have to be on the top so and of course i wouldn't put eggs on a, on a you know on a bottom either because it gets kind of smooshy so basically what i'm doing i'm just cutting really nicely and trying not to make it like a mashed potato out of that so okay and i'll show you the way how i'm cutting everything and then I'm going to put on a fast forward. Okay guys, and now I chopped all my ingredients. And if you're going to ask me how long it took me, it took me about, about 45 to 50 minutes. So, because you have to chop kind of, you know, nicely, because you don't want to make your salad haphazardly so anyway I always use um, the um, potato as a you know the base so I mean you can do whatever you want to but I'm not recommending you to put anything soft like a uh, green peas or um, let's say carrot or um, even um, eggs as the first one so the um, potato then I'm putting chicken Then let's put onions. It goes with the oil. Alright. Anyway, you want to mix everything together. Alright. Okay, and then I would put fresh cucumber. 
and really this fresh cucumber makes really good um, smell smell like a summer okay and then let's put um let's put carrot Oops. let's put dill this is dill actually mixed with a little bit of mint eggs For this amount, we need probably two, um, two cans. All right. And of course, I love to add all this rest of the greens. As we add it all of them together, we definitely have to mix it pretty well. And as a dressing, we're gonna use mayonnaise. So you guys can use any kind of mayonnaise that you like, but I do not recommend you to use the mayonnaise that has too much, um, too much vinegar in it. So the perfect mayonnaise, since it's Russian salad, <laughs> now it's Russian salad, so the perfect mayonnaise would be uh, the, you know, the mayonnaise that you can get in European uh, food stores. And I love any mayonnaise that call um, Provençal. This is the Provençal. And the Provençal actually the probably came from Provence, you know, also the, the French name. So the Provençal is uh, one of the best ones that you can find in a Russian store and European food stores. Or if you don't like this type of mayonnaise, it's kind of more like, you know, more like not so thick, more like liquidy. And if you don't like that, my um, second choice would be this mayonnaise. It's really good, really healthy. The all ingredients are extremely healthy. It's not uh, it's not a cheap mayonnaise, and you also cannot find this mayonnaise in the sections uh, with all the mayonnaise mayonnaise. So it's uh, usually they um, sell that in the sections with um, in the produce section in a uh, in a freezer. Or, I mean in the refrigerator. So in Definitely, we're gonna use salt and pepper, and of course, it's to your taste. You have to taste it. I already know the amount what I'm using here, and salt and pepper. You can grind your pepper freshly. I have already ground it. I always want to sneeze when I'm using this pepper. And you want to cover all your ingredients in this um, salad. You want to cover with a mayonnaise. And if you think that this is like a, too much of the ingredients or too, especially a lot of people going to probably think that this is too much of the mayonnaise, it's absolutely not. Of course, first of all, you have to see uh, you know the, what what amount in this. On the uh, other hand, mixture. if you're gonna measure how much mayonnaise, you know, some people using on a turkey or chicken breast sandwiches daily, so then you can easily notice that in this salad is absolutely not so much mayonnaise because, first of all, because you're not eating this salad on a daily basis definitely and so if you want to eat that on a some kind of holidays you're not gonna get any 
you know, more ingredient than you usually eat. So. And basically you just, um, you know, just mixing this salad. And I have to warn you, you have to put that right away into the refrigerator because with all these ingredients, it definitely can get spoiled. And I don't know if any of you are going to try this salad and say that you don't like it. I don't know. Not many people probably. <laughs> Maybe like, I don't know, a few people in my life I've heard who said that they don't like this salad. And of course, these people were not originally from Soviet Union. <laughs> and, uh, and on the other hand, I have to tell you, if you don't like mayonnaise, you also can put sour cream. But if you think that you're going to put like fat-free mayonnaise or fat-free sour cream, you always have to remember that in a fat-free product, there's much more sugar than anything else. So it's much healthier to eat more fatty stuff. Uh, and I mean not like a bad fats, you know, but um, occasionally instead of more sugar. So you, as you probably know, the all sugars causes uh, candida overgrowth in the body, and this is why people have a lot of problems. However, this salad doesn't have any sugar, and it has all this um, pretty much natural ingredients and nothing processed here. Absolutely nothing, nothing processed. So just the mayonnaise, and if you don't like the mayonnaise, like I said, you can put sour cream. Taste going to be a little bit different, but sometimes, you know, while you know, while I grew up, we had a, on some period of, you know, some years we had a big problems with the mayonnaise. So it was a big deficit, uh, and we um, we were substituting the mayonnaise for sour cream. So you have to go into that taste, which is not bad at all. Or you can put half mayonnaise and half sour cream, and um, the taste is going to be really good too. So this is the how salad looks like. And if you would like to decorate this salad when you're going to put that in your, um, you know, in your salad plate, it's going to be really, you know, it's going to be really beautiful. You can decorate it with anything you want to. Like so, that's it. The salad is ready. And this is the constituents it's supposed to have. It doesn't have to be really liquidy or it doesn't have to be really dry. This is, ups, you know, this is the right amount. And you have to stick it in the refrigerator. And um, it's going to take a few hours before, uh, before it's going to be completely done. I mean, you can eat it right away, you know. Uh, my kids usually don't wait. They eat it right away. And uh, But if you want it, you know, the all ingredients to soak, yeah, to be soaked in a mayonnaise and salt and pepper. So you can keep it in the refrigerator and then it's going to be really, really uh, delicious. And, um, you know, it's really a mouth-watering salad. I hope, guys, you uh, like this salad. I know it's really time-consuming. So if you would have any questions, if you would have any suggestions, anything, um, so you can leave it in, in your comments. And you have a wonderful holidays. And thank you for watching and staying with me on my channel. It was Tatiana Galaxy with Your Health Clinic of Asheville, North Carolina. Thank you. Bye.